Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll talk about the light diffraction. So the previous time we talked about Thomasing experiment, which is about the light interference, and we said that we get the pattern like this when the light passes through uh, two slits. So uh, light interferes, leading to constructive and destructive interference. So we get a bright central fringe due to constructive interference. Then on both sides of this fringe, we get dark, then bright, then dark, then bright spots, and so on, according to the wavelength of uh, light on equal distances, because the angles here are always small, especially with light, because the wavelength of light, the visible light, is small. So today we will know something called Aries disk. Now, in Thomas Tank experiment, the light passed through a double slit. Now, the light here passes through a circular pole, or a circular aperture. A circular aperture. Now, we will get a pattern that looks something like this. So, we can notice that this is circular, because the light passed through a circular pole, or a circular aperture. We get a central bright circle, then a dark lining of surrounding this circle, then another bright lining, then a dark lining, until it disappears because the angles become so big. So it disappears. So this is Aries disk. Now the mechanism of light diffraction is pretty similar to that of the light interference. So now we will see how does this take place? So if we have our screen and we have the hole like that, let's suppose that we have a lens here. So, when the light passes through the hole, it goes in straight lines like that. Then, it's combined, it of course diffracts till it reaches the point B. So, this is constructive interference and we get a bright spot at that part, or a bright fringe at the center of the circle. But, when the light um, goes with a different angle, it doesn't go straight, it goes with a different angle. Here where the light interference takes place. So this is our lens, and Let's say light goes with an angle like this. So, in the um, double slit experiment, we had only two points where the light was emitted. Now, we got all the points here, it's an open hole or open aperture. So light is allowed to pass through all the space in here. That's why in the double slit experiment we gained a longitudinal pattern, while here we get a circular pattern. So light then diffracts according to the angle of diffraction, and we get this angle. And here is the point where the light rays all become in contact. So, this point may be either a bright spot or a dark spot. Well, this depends on uh, the angle of inclination of light from the original position. Let's explain this. It is just like the um, in the Thomas Young experiment. Let's say this is the screen, okay? And this is the hole. So this is the center of the hole and this is the point.
point where the light rays meet at the normal angle. So this connects between the center of the hole and the, the, the central bright spot. So when light moves with an inclination angle, let's say like this, so here we have an angle of beta. And here another point B. Now, this distance, of course, is less than that one. So there is a difference between the brown line and the black line. The brown line is longer than the black line. So this difference is measured in terms of the wavelength. So if we draw a perpendicular line, this will be the distance. The distance may be a wavelength or an integer multiplied by the wavelength, which we said that it's m lambda. So m may be 1, 2, 3, 4. We have no fractions. Or it may be an integer plus half the wavelength. So in case of this is integer multiplied by the wavelength, well, it will be constructive interference because the wave will go like this, and then we have a wavelength, which is pretty similar to that one, so we will get the remaining part of the wave, so it will construct the wave, so we will have a bright spot. But if we have a plus half here, so the wave, instead of going like that, we will get here at the half of the wave, we will get the other wave, so they will cancel each other and we will get a destructive interference leading to the presence of a dark spot or a dark fringe. So this is the light diffraction and until the next time I thank you for watching and see you.